Come on, I can't waste this opportunity. That speed differential between that and the sinker is, is nice. I like it. What a friggin' terrible way to end that inning. Wow. Come on, Sixto, finish it. Game just doesn't like me today. Alright, uh... I'm back. I have not posted a video in a couple days. Uh, there's been a lot going on. Most of you probably know why that is, but in case you don't... I got a new puppy. Her name is Rosie. She is adorable, and she will be making plenty of appearances on the channel, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So yeah, I've been taking the past couple days to kind of... Uh, you know, get her accustomed to everything, and now we're gonna try recording with her in the background. Let's see how it goes. But since I've been so busy, I haven't had time to make videos, and honestly, I didn't even know there was content dropping today. We got a brand new player program for the fourth inning program, and this player is going to be Honus Wagner. Now, I don't really care if it's pronounced Honus. I'm gonna say Honus. This is a look at his 90 overall rookie card. Actually a pretty good rookie card, honestly. I mean, he's not gonna be like a starting guy on very many people's teams, but not a bad card for a rookie. 95, 100 contact, 55, 56 power, 104 vision, 80 arm strength, 96 speed, and this one is a primary position center fielder. He's got second left and right, no shortstop though. I will not be doing Moments 46 in this video. If you guys wanna see Moments 46, come hang out on the stream tonight. I'll I'll probably knock that out there but uh, we got some moments it's basically the same as every other player program do the moments and then beat the Pirates on all-star and you'll get the 90 Wagner plus the 20 program stars in the fourth inning program but that's not all we got today we got something that's a little bit more exciting and kind of the main focus for this video set 26 headliners are here and the headliner card is 97 overall future stars Sixto Sanchez let's start it off with the pitch selection sinker circle change four seam slider pretty good pitches right there it'd be awesome if he had a fifth pitch but that's a pretty solid pitch selection if you're only gonna have four and then you got the pitch speed differentials up there the four seam gonna go up to probably like 100 miles an hour the sinker at 95 the slider at 88 the circle change at 81 these are like the perfect speed differentials this is exactly what you need to be looking for each pitch needs to have its own unique characteristics and sometimes for certain pitchers one pitch looks very similar to another and it kind of messes with everything this is pretty good and then as far as the attributes themselves 97 hits per nine 90 k's per nine 99 walks per nine with 88 controlled 99 velo 95 break now the one downside to this card is that he does not have outlier so he's not gonna have that sinker that is impossible to catch up to but at the end of the day the pitch selection with the good control and the pretty good per nines I'm liking Sixto. And as you can see, the attributes on his prospect card versus his now future stars card is like night and day. This prospect card is trash. The future stars looks good. So let's take a look and see what he's going for on the market right now. Only 79. That's actually a little bit cheaper than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up because I want to use him in this video, do a little debut. Look at the rotation, man. It's about time we start getting some really good pitchers in the game. I mean, the offense has not been a problem all year long. We've had tons of good hitters come into the game, but starting pitching has been kind of a point that needs to be addressed, and we're getting some now. I have a Dustin May debut that I could throw on the channel at any point. I just figure, you know, this card is... I guess kind of old at this point, but if you guys want to see a Dustin May debut, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments. I have a video. I just got to edit it. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into Sixto's debut and see if this card is actually good. This is also my first game of the new ranked season. I'm at 700, so there's a chance we could be facing somebody who's below 700, so it could possibly be on All-Star, which is really not what I want, but it is what it is. Okay, Sixto, impress me, dude. No, 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 no. Ah, that wasn't a bad pitch. That was just a pretty solid hit. <laughs> two batters in, we're down two runs. boy, Sixto. Alright, we're getting our first out. He still hit that pretty hard, though. Matt Kemp didn't even have to move, bro. Good pitch. Well, I mean, it felt good off the release. That's still kind of hung. All right, we gave up two runs. Got to try to get it back. I haven't played in like four days, so if I suck at the plate, you can't judge me. Oh, yeah, this is on All-Star, too. This is definitely on All-Star. Wow. I'm surprised that wasn't hit a little harder. Reach for that, man. Good slurve away. Damn. 
Ah, that was bad. Went down one, two, three. Gotta clean that up, dude, for sure. So I'm not really gonna judge 6-0 too much off this performance just because it's now pretty much confirmed that this is on All-Star. So I'll definitely give him another go regardless of how good or bad he does in this game. But in the comment section of the video, do me a favor. Let me know what you think of 6-0. Do you think he's good? Do you think he needs Outlier in order to be, you know, considered... Look at that hit, by the way. Wow. Do you think he needs Outlier in order to be uh, considered like a really good pitcher right now? Or just what are your thoughts on the card in general? Good pitch. There we go. That's a double play. Perfect. That Biggio hit goes away. There we go. He had to have swung on that. Yep. Got the strikeout. Hey, we're getting our first hit. There we go. Sheffield, good stuff. <laughs> that felt so good right there, dude. Biggio. Oh, why is that good? Okay. Oh, that one stings. I don't know why I chased that. That one's on me right there. Oh, man. What a freaking terrible way to end that inning. Wow. Okay. Kluber's not a tough out. Actually, sometimes Kluber is a tough out. Sometimes Kluber just rakes. Here we go. You got that all the way to 3-2, man. I was up 0-2 in that count. Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. Play it on a hop. Mickey Mantle's gonna be a tough out. I can already tell. Oh, no. boy, Murray. Way to clean that up. That was a bad pitch. Here we go. That's off the end of the bat. boy, Kemp. Kemp's been busy out there. He's had a lot of balls go to him today. I gotta be careful with those low sinkers, man. He's elevating those with Mickey Mantle. Hitting the ball hard with Reggie. I gotta get a double play, though. Come on. Throw that. Come on, dude. How am I missing my spot? Isn't 6 0 supposed to have pretty good control? Maybe my thumb just wants to do whatever it wants to do right now. I don't know. He shouldn't get to third on this. If he goes, he's crazy. All right. I'm going to do something. I hope it works out. I'm going to walk his created player, lope the bases just to face Corey Kluber. There we go. Good stuff, man. That was the uh, perfect spot in the order to be for that. Fifth inning of work coming up for Sixto. He's still pitching well. He's only got 46 pitches. And there goes Chipper again with a base hit up the middle, just like the first inning. Please do not let Mickey go yard. He's two for two. He's the bat that's scaring me the most right now. There we go. Got him jammed a little bit. That was the four seam. The four seam's really effective with Sixto. That speed differential between that and the sinkers is nice. I like it. getting a lot of base runners, dude. There we go. Got Sheffield. Come on, two down. Finish the inning. Got it. Let's go, baby. We are right here in this game. I just got to get a little bit of love from the game offensively. My PCI placement has been solid. The game just doesn't like me today. Please fall. Please fall. This is what I'm saying, man. I can't get any love with these exit velos or anything right now. It's very frustrating, man. I'm pitching well with 6-0 on All-Star, and for some reason, the ball is just not going anywhere when I hit it well. And it's just... Ah, man. I want to stay positive, but it's tough. That's on me. That's a bad swing. That was a good pitch, though. Well, five innings. We are still being shut out by Kluber. Thankfully, 6-0 is still pitching well here. But the issue is that, once again, the four pitches from Sixto Sanchez. Four pitches can be good if you use them effectively, but the problem is the farther along you get in the game, the deeper you get into the inning count and the pitch count, the more familiar the four pitches start to become. So having that fifth pitch on a lot of these starters is super crucial because it just lets you mix things up even more, keep them more off balance. Come on, Mickey Mantle. Come on, Mickey Mantle. Way to track it down. There's that speed and diamond defense. Thank you. Let's go, 6 0. Keep it going, man. Keep pitching well. The offense, it's got to click eventually, right? Please, please leave. Let's go. Mickey Mantle goes yard for him. Mickey Mantle goes yard for me. Thank God. All right, 6 0. Let's go, man. Seventh inning of work. Keep it going, dude. Keep it going. Carter Keeboom's got a great arm. He's got this. Boom. 
That was not where I wanted that to go, but we got lucky that he got on top of it. Gotta face Mickey with two outs. We are not out of this inning. Come on, Sixto, finish it. Nice, let's go. That was a good battle. Seven innings from Sixto, only two earned runs, and both of them came in the first. I've shut him down for six straight innings. All right, okay. One out walk, come on. Let's turn this into something, Kiboom. Carter Kiboom, that's up the middle. Two guys on, which means we are going to have to pinch hit now for Sixto Sanchez. I mean, he had an amazing debut. I ain't mad at that at all. We're gonna go to Dietrich. If he goes to a lefty, we'll go to um, Ryan Braun or something. Good slurve, man. That's a really good pitch. Oh, come on, I can't waste this opportunity. And then I'm gonna get good okay. I mean, I was under it, but it is what it is. I don't know how many opportunities I've uh, thrown away this game, dude. I can be mad about the PCI placement and not getting rewarded, but at the same time, I've had way too many uh, opportunities to make an excuse here. Here we go, boys, bottom of the ninth. I'm still only down by one run. We are within striking distance with every hitter we have up. Maybe this is the inning where the game kind of helps us out a little bit, dude. Nope. Good okay. How is how is a hundred and two mile per hour ex velo okay contact? Is that just not proof that the PCI is completely jacked up from top to bottom? All right, that was a good fork ball. Two down. And that's the game. Oh boy, that was fun. That was that was sick. That was so much fun. I had a great time. I enjoyed every bit of that. Like, it's really hard to take this game seriously sometimes. But hey, whatever, man. It is what it is. We're just having fun here. Sixto Sanchez. Seven innings pitched, four strikeouts, only two earned runs. And you know what's crazy? He allowed two earned runs, and then that was before the first out of the game even happened. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because... I had a great time making it. Looks like Rosie wants to uh, get off the couch here, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.